Hey y'all, we're uh, out here working on the bus today. Uh, we got all the flooring down last time we were out here, or I guess Hannah and her dad, I should say. And uh, we're gonna be screwing and gluing the flooring in, and then I think putting in framing for the walls. We have to figure out exactly the floor plan before we do that. So there's gonna be some doodling on the boards with some pencil, I think. No, I feel like we'll probably use like masking tape. All right, but pencil will be fun. Why? Because you can erase it. You can just pull the masking tape off. I will figure it out. It'll anyway. it'll work no matter what. We're gonna figure out the flooring plan today, like solidify that, and then my dad's gonna come out and we're gonna frame out the frame out the walls. It's gonna so. be a dad's day. Dad day. Woo. <laughs> yeah. So we're excited about the floor plan. Um, what we're thinking. I mean, it, there's not a whole lot that you can do in this size of a bus. I am. The big debates were whether or not we wanted to do a shower, indoor shower, a wet shower, or just a bathroom with a composting toilet or like we've seen like people that have kind of like removable toilets that like are like box. stored away in a cabinet and then you can just pull it out when you need to use it and then it's basically like an RV toilet that has like a t an attached tank so it's kind of its own individual system um, and I think that we decided that we want to do a shower what shower well, now we're in between this. Do we want to do a wet shower where there's like a permanent composting toilet or do we want to do a shower with one of those kind of individual system toilets where you can just pull it out of the shower when you want to take a shower so you don't have Which to like sit on the shower convenient. while you're showering. Yeah, that would be convenient. I mean... We'll see. There's not going to be a lot of room in there, so I think that might be a good option. We'll have to evaluate as we go. Yeah, I think that we'll probably end up going with a, with a individual unit toilet that can be removed from the shower, and then we'll just store it in the shower when we're not actually showering, um, is the idea. The shower is going to go on top of the wheel well, um, so it's going to remove five inches. Um, so we saw this cool idea on tall. Ellie the Schoolie, um, in which they have a customized shower pan. Um, so it sits like right in front of this the cool. wheel well. It's like so it's like five inches past where the wheel well comes out And so that shower pan is lower and that's where the drain is and then like you will stand on top of the wheel Well when you're actually showering so you kind of have two height levels So the part above the wheel well they tiled and then they had a shower pan that was connected to it So that was pretty cool, and I think that's probably something that we are going to incorporate. We're gonna steal it. Yeah, what no we're going to Take inspiration from it. Yeah um, and then we're going to do the bed in the back with storage underneath, like many, many a schoolie. Um, we will also have all of our electrical components in the back. We got that. We took inspiration for that from the Angry Pickle. Um, and then, as you can see, we watched a lot of YouTube because we're millennials. So. <laughs> um, and then we'll do a couch area right as you... Over here, couch area over here. <laughs> All right, as you walk into the bus, there will be a couch area here. We took inspiration from Vicara Bus. Um, they have a really cool modular couch system that you pull a unit out, and then it comes a table flips up. Um, so that's kind of what we're going for there. And then kitchen will be right here behind us, where the tripod is right now. Um, and we'll just have to work around a couple things. But that's kind of the basic idea. We just don't know dimensions or anything like that. So yeah. we're going to solidify those deets today. It's going to be a good, good day. And then we're going to go get the materials and hopefully start framing today as well. So Hard work. All day. Saturday. Weekend. Weekend bus weekend. Woo! Work. What? <laughs> da dad weekend. Dad work weekend bus weekend <laughs> work. What? <laughs> Two by four what? Two by two? Oh. Well, you 
you need a measurement for me. treating you babe so great wouldn't want to be doing it without them apparently rodney either there you are neither okay try to go around the wheel well here so we're going to be looking at 13 and an eighth so I'm just going to measure out 13 and an eighth on here we're going to do it over on the edge 13 and an eighth so right there and then um, the distance that we want to cut out of this um, so we're going to actually try to keep it even with this one over here. So we're going to say it's going to be four and three eighths is what we want on this side. So four and three eighths and we're going to measure it right at my mark where it was 13 and eighths. So four and three eighths is right here um, and then I'm also going to because on this one I think no I'm not gonna do that never mind okay so I'm gonna take my square this is how I've just been getting straight straight edges and I'm going to put it on my 13 and eighth mark Almost cut it wrong, which I've cut a ton of them wrong. So, 14 and 3 eighths. So, I want it to be 4 and 3 eighths from this Sit. side, actually. Sit. So, Sit. 4 and 3 eighths this way is going to be right here. Where's my 13? There we go. So, 4 and 3 eighths is going to be here. That's makes more sense <laughs> measure twice cut once <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna line up my straight edge on my 13th and an eighth mark and I'm gonna cut it only to that four and three eighths line so there's that cut and then this is how I'm gonna do it this way so it's Square to this end, Sit. and then Sit. on that Sit. line, Sit. looks about right, and then, oh, well, well, looks about right until I can't do it right, and then, there we go, and then I'm just going to score this along there. Perfect. And the way I've been doing these intricate pieces is I'm taking 
my needle nose pliers and because you don't just want to like it like won't go if you just like kind of bend it but if you take the needle nose pliers and they go right almost up to the edge and then do it it like scores so like slowly that you have a ton of control over where exactly it's going to break off so that's what I've been using and it works really well I'll show you how clean this is when and then it's interesting it's like made out of this composite -y material on the inside so you can see I just used those needle nose pliers popped it right out and now I'm left with a cut that looks like this and it looks great. There's a little bit of the composite material left over in the corner, um, but I'm not overly concerned about that because literally all of my edges are going to be covered by like furniture and things, so it's not that big of a deal. Let's see how it her spits. And there we go. And so now I know exactly how that works. It's perfect. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, it was my dad's idea that if I put this one in, then I would know exactly where my pattern like started to make it to here. But that just unfortunately is not true. Hmm. But I mean, at least this way I could work, continue working that way, which is helpful. At least a little bit. So maybe that's what I'll do, and I'll figure that out in a little bit. Because that's how I finish this today. 